So the first one I have here um, is our Volsa's Folly Gin. Jaime Blum's recent visit to Still 630 in St. Louis. I like him. Marked her 30th okay. spirits tasting. So right here I'm pouring our Missouri bourbon for you. She um, recently yeah, completed a tour of four. 29 craft distilleries across Missouri, the, um, including Still 630, okay. tasting all kinds of liquor along the way. This one is like, is that uh, 81 proof? This is 81 and this is 100. Well, this is a strong already 81. We call it yeah. evil because it's 100. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like it. <laughs> so it might be surprising to learn. Oh, this one's strong. <laughs> that Jaime doesn't <laughs> particularly care for hard alcohol. I don't really drink vodka or, or whiskey. In fact, she didn't really set out to go on that tour of craft distilleries. She'd planned on visiting a winery. That's how I found it was coincidence. The winery was closed, let's go to the distillery. <laughs> and they show us the map and I'm like, oh, I'm doing this. The map was for the Missouri Spirits Expedition, an adventure in the spirit of the Lewis and Clark Expedition that challenges you to discover craft distilleries all around the Show Me State. Everybody's done a trail and other states are doing trails and stuff. Eh, it's all played out. A trail has a beginning and an end. An expedition is something that you kind of weave and determine on your own. And that was perfect for the Missouri Spirits Expedition, right? What we're trying to do is showcase the entire state and all the different distilleries that are out there. If you go to Kentucky and you take the bourbon trail, they're all making bourbon and most of the processes are pretty much the same. So you don't get to see a whole lot of different things. Um, but in, on the expedition, you do, some people make bourbon, but there's apple brandy and there's distillery that makes eau de vie and then there's us and we have malt whiskey, Irish style, you know, with a pot still. And there's just all these different expressions of spirits around the state. So it's kind of neat to be able to introduce people to all the possibilities at the same time. The sizes and stories of the distilleries on the expedition vary as well. You can go from the larger operations like Restless Spirits in Kansas City to rural parts of the state, including Loman, Missouri, just outside Jefferson City, where you'll find the family-run Blacksmith Distillery in an old 1950s milk barn. The corn whiskey is the recipe that my family made back before Prohibition. It seems like they, they care for what they do, they love what they do, and they, they want to share that, and that's, that's just amazing. Seeing someone with that passion, passion for something, it's, it's, it's amazing. Now you know why someone who doesn't really drink liquor became obsessed with visiting every distillery on the expedition map. For me, it's not about let's go and have drinks in all these 30 places. It's, Let's go and meet this town and then see how people do things. And once you go to the first two or three, you're like, oh, but they're different. Oh, I wonder how these people made their, their own stuff. You know, you go for the distillery, but then you get to experience what's around. There's really small towns that I will never even think of going, that I'm like, I will never see in this. It wouldn't be for this. Plus, I learned a lot. These here are our pot stills. They were handmade here in Missouri to my specifications. We all of that is, it was, it's, it was new for me and I got to learn all of that. It's, it's, it was very rewarding. Inside this barrel is another perk for those on the expedition. Distillers from across the state added their Missouri bourbon to it back in 2019 when the tour began. A bottle from it is waiting for those who complete the expedition. You can't get this bottle without earning it by completing the expedition. None of the other trails out there have anything that is even remotely close. I think a t-shirt's like the best thing that you can get somewhere else. Jaime earned her bottle. Have you tried it? I haven't because I don't want to open it. I don't want to open it. I'm waiting for one of my friends to finish so I can try hers. <laughs> <laughs> this is our little barrel aging room. This While she was revisiting Still 630, she figured out a house. better plan. I want to do it again because it's so much fun. Will she take a celebratory drink from the next expedition bottle she earns? Ready to take off on your yes. next expedition. Let me give you your first stamp here. For Jaime, that's not the reward she's looking forward to most. All of these people are really nice and they're family owned businesses and then you get to know and, and they're very, I don't know how to explain it. Just, it feels like family. That's, that's, that's how I felt. 
That's what comes out on the first Friday of every month. Uh, we release one spirit per month for five years.